Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over LinkedIn audience targeting for recruitment ads. So if you're promoting a job using LinkedIn ads, I'm gonna go over some inclusions and exclusions to use on your audience targeting to make sure you're reaching the right people. So let's jump into it. So when setting up audience targeting for recruitment or for really any campaign on LinkedIn ads, I like to go into the audience section. So go to plan, audiences, and then go to the save tab and then click create audience. So when you create a saved audience, it allows you to add in all the attributes that you wanna target, and then you can see insights based off of your audience targeting. So I already have an example created here that I'll go into. So I've added in some different attributes here, and then you click apply, and you can see different attributes of your audience on this side. So I can see which job functions this audience works in, what their seniority level looks like, their years of experience, their skills, their job titles. And I can use that to kind of gut check to make sure that my audience is the actual audience that I want to target. And if I need to make any further exclusions, I can do that. So you can also see the content that they interact with, their, their locations, um, different companies that they work for. And what I wanted to cover first is go over some inclusions and exclusions to make for your audience targeting. So whenever you're doing recruitment ads, I always like to have my audience narrowed down by this member trait here. So it's job seekers. So if you go in to the audience attribute section, go to interests and traits, go to member traits and search for job seekers. You can include that and make sure you're, you have an and statement here, not an or statement, because you want to make sure you're narrowing the audience. So in this example, I'm targeting some member skills. I'm also narrowing it down so they have to have these additional member skills. And then I have this member trait, so they also have to be a job seeker. So the member trait is going to include people that have been potentially browsing different jobs. Maybe they're open to work, and it's just a good filter to include. And then I also have it narrowed down by some education attributes, so having degrees. And then what I like to do is I like to click apply here, and I like to review the job titles of the users, and then I like to make some further exclusions. So I usually always like to, on the member trade side of things, exclude people that recently switched jobs and also were recently promoted, because if they were recently promoted, they probably aren't interested in a new job, so I like to exclude those people. In some instances, I exclude frequent travelers, um, in this case for this client, and then I exclude anyone that currently works or previously worked at the company that um, we're hiring for. Um, if you don't mind people that previously worked for you seeing your ads and maybe having them apply, you can have it just to exclude current uh, jobs from the, the company name. And then I also like to exclude any students for this particular job. Maybe in your job you want to target student, students and that's okay. But in this case, I have graduate student, graduate, graduate program excluded. You can also go through the job titles here and just see and make sure that the audience targeting makes sense and if you need to exclude any of these job titles. So for here, we don't want students. So um, I'm gonna actually add in this students targeting here. So I'm going to exclude student and then when I click apply here and I go through here that removes students from the audience targeting. So again just to recap on the audience targeting I like to always include users who are have a member trait of job seekers and then I like to exclude people that were recently promoted or recently switched jobs and then I like to exclude any job titles that you're seeing in the insights that don't make sense. So I've excluded students and um, you can go through and exclude any other job titles that make sense. And then also a note on location targeting. I always like to use the permanent location um, just to make sure we're avoiding people that are maybe visiting uh, temporarily a place. So for this particular client, we're targeting the Austin area. And if we have recent or permanent location, that could include people that maybe live out of state that were recently in Austin for a couple of weeks. And we don't want to target them because we just want to target people specifically in Austin for this on-site job opportunity. So with this particular audience, it's pretty small at 2,000 audience members, but we're trying to be hyper-targeted to show some single image ads to the audience. So from here, you can save your audience. So I'll click Save Recruitment Example here. You can add a name. 
And then once that saves, we'll go into our campaign here and you can click saved audiences and then you can add in your saved audience, click OK, and it will add that audience into your campaign. So it took a second there, but now we see it here and we're targeting, it has all the targeting that we just used in the saved audience and you're all set there. So I just wanted to go over some inclusions and exclusions for your audience targeting. If you have any questions on that, please put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.